as a part of this project, I had to put a sensor suit on my head, on my arms, on my legs and my foot, and I had to dance. So the research I've been conducting in uh, these last few years was focused on um, kinesemiotics, which is the study of uh, meaning made by movement. So we first collected data from um, uh, English National Ballet dancers in rehearsal studios. We put them in sensor suits and then we used the functional grammar of dance to annotate and interpret that data. So the functional grammar of dance is a model I use to explain how different body parts of the dancers create meaning by interacting with uh, the space and the people around them. A dancer moving their arms in one direction and the, the legs in another and the arms are pointing towards a village or a lake and the leg is pointing somewhere else to a forest or to different people so that the audience understands that the dancer is willing to go towards that village, towards that lake, but at the same time is being retained by the people. I do have professional background in dance. I grew up in uh, the ballet school of the Opera House and I thought, oh, how do they know what I want to do, what I'm saying, what I express? Our studies basically laid the foundations for developing tools, methodologies, protocols to help audiences engage more, engage better with the, the, the language of dance. If you look at ballet as an art form, it still has a reputation in some contexts to be unobtainable. There was an idea here that we could attain something that actually doesn't exist at the moment and there would be a lot of learning from this which we could manifest in our programming and our future development.